Hey what's up everybody, it's Amaya. So today's video is going to be all about products I dislike and I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently than my products I regret buying video. I'm going to be doing a products I dislike makeup tutorial. So I'm really excited to do this. I actually did this once before um, but all the footage turned out blurry which is kind of ironic because I was talking about products I hate so it must have jinxed me and so yes, hopefully now we're going to have clear footage, we're all going to be good, and it's going to be great. So, I'm just going to be doing my makeup with all these products right here in this bin that I dislike, and I will tell you why I don't like them, or why I think I would never use them, or why I don't use them. Some of them are actually awful, and then some of them are just meh, I just don't really like them. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Right, I'm going to try to do this as accurately as possible. So I'm going to start with my primer, which I usually do. So I have this Figs and Rouge Mattifying Emulsion Sheer Primer Pore Refiner Primer Thingy McJiggy. Um, so I got this in a Birchbox or an Ipsy, and I used it once and it worked. And every other time since then, when I've used it, it has been positively awful. So it comes out like this white, milky, runny sort of stuff. As I begin to work it in, it balls up. And oh my god, this stuff is, yep, yep, there it goes. It feels like you, you're peeling dry skin. Absolutely gross. And I do it with moisturizer, without moisturizer, it doesn't matter. It just does not work. Okay, so let's do foundation first, um, just because I want to get that over with. Um, this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. So I've had this for years now, it's time for me to finally get rid of it. Um, but this is before I kind of knew how to match myself, so it's in the shades Neutral 1 slash 2, which is Soft Ivory Classic Ivory. First of all, I'm not that shade. It's way too pink for me. It just does not work. But the other thing I don't like about this is how it sits on the skin. I just feel like it kind of like lays there. And it just looks really... Makes my skin look very, like, hairy. I'm going to be applying it using the BH Cosmetics sponge. Now, I don't hate this sponge. It is a pretty good sponge. It's pretty squishy. It's pretty good. I just feel like it's really big for my face, and it just doesn't apply things as good. I feel like it kind of soaks up a lot of product. So I put two pumps on the back, and I'm just going to stamp this on. When I'm putting the sponge on my face, it just feels kind of bouncy. I don't know. It's weird. It feels... It doesn't feel like the Beauty Blender, where the Beauty Blender feels like a nice spongy sort of smoothness. This just feels kind of, like I said, bouncy and not hard, because it's not hard when I squish it, but it just doesn't feel great on the face. You can see it soaks up a lot of product as well. Okay, let's move on to eyebrows. So what I have for my eyebrows is this guy. This is the little, it's a little sample of the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. And I just don't like the shape of this. I feel like the formula is also really just... I don't know, I feel like it's very pigmented, and it just doesn't look good on my brows. The color is great, I just don't like the formula or the shape, and that's why I don't recommend this, because I would not buy it. Look at how, like, I just feel like I can't get a nice, precise line with this. Another benefit brow product that I just don't think is worth the money is the Gimme Brow. I know some people that re really, really just love this, but I just feel like... The Essence one is the exact same thing, and this one is so expensive. I feel like if you're looking for a good brow thing, it, the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer is so much better. This one is just, just, I don't know. I feel like it's too expensive. Okay, now for some concealer. I'm going to be using the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. Now, I don't think that the Bye Bye Under Eye is a bad concealer. I just don't think it's good for concealing under the eyes. It's so thick and so just cakey looking. I don't know. I just, I feel like under the eyes it breaks up and it's very hard to apply. It's sticky. It doesn't blend out well. I love using this underneath my foundation like on my nose and it stays for a long time. I will give it that. For under the eyes, I just don't think it's very good. So I'm going to try to blend that in with my sponge. You guys just see how like hard that is to blend? And this sponge isn't horrible at blending. It's not a horrible sponge. It's just, this stuff is so hard to blend. I know people will say it. I'm just going to try it on my finger with this side. And it's the same situation. It just wants to stay right where you put it. 
and it's not easy or creamy or blendy. Okay, so time for a little bit of cream contouring. I'm gonna be using the NYX Wonder Stick. This is in the shade Universal. This stuff has a highlight side at one end and a contour side at the other end. Great concept, honestly. But the colors are just so weird. So the highlighting side I thought would be like a um, matte highlight. I don't know, I just assumed it would be something like that. But it's a shimmery sort of highlight, but it doesn't have much color to it. And then the contouring side is like pure orange. It just, it doesn't look good on the skin for contouring. And I'm gonna blend this out with the sponge on this side and then with a brush on the other side because I know people might say like, you're supposed to blend it out with a this or a that. So I'm just gonna do both, just to show you that it doesn't work for both. And I feel like once you blend it out, it's just kind of patchy and weird. This is the brush I always use for cream contouring, by the way. This is a Butte Basics angled brush, so this isn't like just some funky monkey brush I pulled out. I'm gonna try to use, besides the sponge, things that I always use just to show that it doesn't, it doesn't work. I'm not gonna use the highlight side because I have some other highlighter to talk about. Okay, so for cream blush, I actually do have a cream blush. This is the e.l.f. HD blush, and this one is in the shade Diva. Um, I got this in like a free e.l.f. thing. <laughs> and I originally had the shade Superstar, I think it was, and I just did not like that one. And this one's like a nice hot pink. I'm just gonna show you guys, it literally, it looks like a liquid lipstick. It feels like a liquid lipstick. It's so thick. And I wouldn't mind that if it sheared out nicely. This one doesn't. So I'm just going to pick it up on this brush. I used this brush last time for That's why it already has some pink on it. And I'm even going to like dab it off on a tissue there so it's not too much product. Like, I dabbed it off. Come on. And it's way too pigmented for what it does. I'll blend that out with the sponge. <sighs> no, I wanted this to look like I was doing it good. Okay, so for a cream highlight, I have the Milk Makeup Highlighter in the shade Highlighter. This stuff literally does not show up on the skin at all. Let me swatch it. Do you kind of see it? Me too. And I'm going to put my finger in it. Like, I get that it's kind of supposed to be a natural highlight, probably, that's what I'm assuming, but it went from natural to nothing. And I just don't like it, I don't ever reach for it, I just feel like it doesn't really do much. And then another liquid highlighter that I don't like is from Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics, and this is their liquid gossamer. This is so gorgeous, look at that. It looks like the, um, what are those called, the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops. First of all, the applicator on the sample is horrible, but when you put this on your skin, I tried to use it the other day too, it disappears into nothing as well. It goes from like beautiful swatch to just kind of like a glittery nothingness. I don't know, I just feel like for that I should get like a more intense highlight and it just does not look good. I'll try applying it with the sponge and it just doesn't really do much. I feel like the Sephora Luminizing Drops are much better for this type of thing. Okay, so to set under my eyes, I'm going to be using the Smooth Criminal Powder by Be A Bombshell. This powder in particular is not one that I dislike. It is these types of powders, these white silica-based powders that I dislike. I think they don't work very well. Some people say just use them because they flashback in photography but not in real life. Well, I understand that, but I just don't want to take that chance, you know? So, they do make your... <coughs> They're very powdery. They do make your under eyes feel like porcelain. I'll give them that. Oh my god, that's, that smells so bad. And for face powder today, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Clean Matte um, Powder. This is in the shade Buff Beige. And again, this powder I don't hate. I've talked about it before, and I don't want people to think I was lying in my video about the Vox box where I got this, and I'm not. I think this is a great powder, but personally for me, it's a little too dry and a little too cakey. It doesn't look bad, it just isn't my favorite powder. So for bronzer today, I'm gonna to be using the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer. I've talked about this before. I just don't like this. I don't think it's very pigmented, and it's kind of patchy, and it's a little too orange for my skin and my liking. I just, I just feel like people rave about this and I don't get why they rave about it so much. For blush, I have this little NARS Orgasm Sample. This is what it looks like. I hate this blush, and I'm so glad I got a sample because I will never use it. It is pure gold glitter. 
It's just not even anything. And for a powder highlight today, I'm going to be using the Becca Moonshine Highlighter. This is a little sample, and I don't hate this highlighter. I just think that it's so much different from the other Becca highlighters. It's kind of sheer, it's kind of powdery, kind of chalky. I just don't think it's a very good highlighter for the price. If this was $5, I would think it was a great highlighter. Like, come on, for $38, I feel like I should get a little bit more. Okay, so for eyes, I have an eye primer, and this is the e.l.f. Eye Primer and Liner Sealer. I think it's a great concept. I just think that I can do a lot better with just a concealer. Like, as you can see, it's just like a stick. I kind of have to work to put it on there, and then to blend it out it doesn't give much coverage. It feels kind of greasy. I just don't think you need to buy it. Okay, so for the palette I'm going to be using today, I have the Maybelline Nudes palette. I used to really like this palette, but that was before I actually knew what palettes are supposed to be like. Some of the shades in here aren't completely awful. Like, some of the matte shades are not horrible. They're pretty good. But, for $12 at the drugstore, I feel like you can now get so many better things, or just pick up a Morphe palette. I just feel like this one's not worth it. So I'm just going to take these two lightest shades right here, the gray shades, and I'm just going to start to blend that into the crease. I just feel like these are kind of patchy, and like I said, if this was the only palette I had, like it kind of was when I was younger, I made it work. It was fine. But now that I have so many palettes and so many single eyeshadows, I just feel like I don't need it. I'm going to take this darker shade right here and put that on the outer corners. I feel like it's just very patchy. And when I go to blend it out, it just takes a lot of extra work blending. If this was the only palette I had, I was going to say I could try to make it work, but I probably couldn't and not. I couldn't make it work. The best shimmer in here, I would say, is the gold one. It's the one that has the most pigment. And that's the one I'm going to kind of use today. But in general, it just doesn't have much pigment. And then this white one right here is probably the worst. It's just like glitter. It just scrubs so hard at this poor shade, as you guys can see, and nothing would happen, and I'm like, why is my eyeshadow looking pretty? The black in here is not a bad black. I used to use this black a lot, even when I had other palettes, and I didn't really have like a pure black. And again, it's not horrible, it is actually pretty dark, but it's just kind of patchy and hard to blend out. I used to have to work with it a lot, and that's what I didn't like. I don't like having to work with the eyeshadows a whole lot. Okay, so I'm gonna tight line, and in my lower waterline, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Precise. This pencil is like Kathleen Light's favorite, and it's so black. Look at that, it's so black. But it smudges so easily. Oh my, ah! Very black. That's great, it just doesn't last, and it smudges, and I don't like it. For eyeliner today, I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild Graphic Marker Eyeliner, and the thing I don't like about this, it's an actual like felt tip marker, like one of the Sharpies. I just don't think that it works very well for eyeliner, and I'm going to show you that. You can kind of maybe stamp it, and then draw it in. The brush is just, you know, it's stiff, so you can't like move it around very easily, I feel like. I'm always so scared when I use this. And I feel like you couldn't get a thin liner with this. No, that's not a good look. That's not a good look. For mascara today, I have this Colossal Volume Express. I'm just going to hold my breath real quick. <sighs> that mascara is so gross smelling. It would give me a headache for the rest of the day. I don't like the brush. I don't like the formula. I don't like the smell. None of it. So if I were going to do lashes today, I would use these Vegas Nay Eyelore Classic Charm Lashes. I've mentioned this in the products I regret buying. I'm just going to bring them out real quick. They're just, the band is so thick, and they're so, like, fake and spidery looking. That when you put them on your eye, I'll just kind of give you an example if I just, which side is the, okay, yeah. If I were just to put them on my eye, like that, they look like little spiders. And they're too curled up, they're, the band is too hard to work with, I just really dislike these. I just 
I just don't feel like putting on lashes today. Okay, so let's move on to some setting spray. I'm gonna be using the Japanesque Makeup Setting Spray. This isn't a horrible setting spray, but it's expensive and watch what it does. Do you see that? Look at all those white dots. I was mortified. I think I used this in a video, like the day that I got it and I was so excited. And then I saw all those white spots. Oh god, okay. So, yeah, no, it doesn't, it doesn't make my makeup look bad. It makes my makeup look okay. It's just those spots are so annoying. For my lips today, I'm going to be using this Appeal Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Crush. And I am actually going to zoom you guys in to see this because it's so bad. Okay, so you guys see my lips, right? See this color? It's a bright orange, but... Do you guys see how, like, wet that is? It's thin, it's greasy, it's wet. It just makes it look like a mess. It's so sticky and gross and weird. I just don't like it. And for gloss, I have this NYX Extreme Shine Lip Cream. This is in the shade Nude Peach Fuzz. I just think this color and this formula is just very thick and gloppy. Ew. Well, here we go, you guys. Um, so that is it for my products I hate makeup tutorial. I hope you guys like it. I hope you can kind of see where I'm coming from with some of these as to why you're so bad. This lipstick literally tastes gross. It's the nastiest thing I've ever tasted. So yeah, I hope you can kind of see you using these products, why I dislike them. Again, I'm going to say like a few things like the um, setting powder, the clean matte one isn't a bad setting powder. It just doesn't work for me. And the Becca highlight I don't hate. So yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Amaya. So today's video is going to be all about my favorite nude lip products. I'm going to be showing you guys my top three favorite lip liners, lip gloss.